all remember this puss ball from last year, right? I think I'm gonna tell Gil we're not coming back next year. His management here seems to think he can tell us when we're gonna eat. We want to stop, man. We want to stop. We will pull over. Get out. Get out and what? We gonna watch you piss? <laughs> no. I want you to get out of the van right now. Mm. You, your guitar, and anyone else who thinks it's a democracy, you can get out too. It's all good. I said get out. Let's go. Oh, Dylan, you get in trouble for that. Schedule something, but uh, we have a lot going on with uh, the motel opening. May I talk to you privately for a moment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I'll be right now. No. <laughs> She's a trip. I can't. She's a trip. You gonna say something? Tell her the real truth, and she don't get pissed. I think it might be helpful if I saw Norman on his own next time. Mm-hmm. No offense, but I, I don't feel comfortable, so. I mean, I, I don't know you. Have, have you ever been in therapy, Mrs. Bates? No. Would you consider coming for some sessions of your own? Why? Well, uh, I've noticed you have a strong influence on Norman. Maybe I need to control things? Mm hmm I'm his mother. <laughs> of course. But as our children grow older, we need to let go of them. Mm hmm what else is The thing is, um, people who feel the need to control everything often in actuality feel out of control on the inside. Hmm. Do you ever feel that way? No. Lying, I don't. Lying, lying. Oh, I, I feel completely in control of everything in my life. How dare you make these stupid assumptions about me? You don't know anything about me. I work hard. I take care of my son. I know what's right and what's wrong for him. What happened, Mother? Did I say something wrong? No, you were perfect. Let's go. Oh. Did I say something wrong? Oh god, poor Norman never had a fucking chance. Oh boy, she about to kick she about to kick this motherfucker out. Money? No. I feel a drink, but I can't seem to find a mini bar. I want you out of my motel. You didn't just do that, did you? Look, I don't know who you are, and I don't care, but I don't want to have anything more to do with you. You need to dial it down right now, Norma, before I get truly annoyed. You, you know? want me to call the cops and, and tell them what you've been saying to me? Mm -hmm. How you wanted to rent rooms and have the privacy? How you knew Keith Summers and Zach Shelby? I know all about you and Zach Shelby. What? There's nothing to know. I'm not afraid of you. You <laughs> have no power over me. You're gonna try and convince me that you and Shelly were casual acquaintances, that you knew nothing about what was going on? If you are not out of this room in five minutes, I am calling the police. Okay. Play. Five minutes! This motherfucker ain't gonna leave. Ooh. She said, I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> She's afraid. Hmm. Yeah, he's leaving, but something else, something's gonna happen. I told those girls about you and Bradley is because I heard them talking about you. 
saying things like it was embarrassing how you just stared at Bradley all the time and how someone like her would never have anything to do with someone like you. Huh. And it just made me so angry because I think you are so special mm -hmm. and so much better than any of them. Anyway, I'm sorry. I know you think I like you. I don't, I don't okay, I guess I do, but it's not about that. I don't care if you're not gonna be my boyfriend. I'm pretty used to things not turning out the way I expect and making the best of it. It's just, you are really special to me and I feel safe with you. You are my friend. And I don't want to mess it up. I don't have many real friends. No, oh, stop it, Emma. She's so sweet. It's okay, Emma. I'm sorry I was mad. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, if, if it was a door, I would have knocked. It's fine, Dad. <laughs> it's crazy, Hafa. Mm hmm, it ain't over. I probably left you a little special surprise. Oh! Oh, that's Dylan. I'm about to say. How many rooms we got available? All of them. Twelve rooms, twelve vacancies. You were right about that guy. Hmm. I got rid of him. I handled it. Cool. Look, I got seven people here who need rooms. They're going to be doing some work for my boss, and we need somewhere to put them for the next two weeks. Really? <laughs> yeah. She can use the business. Yeah, well, a golden office. Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> yeah. Sure, Norma. Yeah, Norman is uh, staying for dinner at Emma's tonight. You want to get a bite in the village? It'll just be the two of us. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. No time to be just nice to get Dylan. Out of clothes. I'll run upstairs and then I'll come back down to meet you and settle everybody in. Okay. Okay. It's a shame she's crazy. Oh God, something's gonna happen to kill it, but she's happy. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. I knew it, something. Someone put the, the deputy, whatever, Shelby. Oh, oh, somebody put him in her bed. That's so funny.